Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. And in this opportunity, we're going to have a video under five minutes in which you're going to learn how to use your computer as an NVR for the Unify Protect wide range of IP cameras. In this opportunity, basically what we're going to do is we're gonna use the Unify Protect G3 Flex camera, just one camera, and we're going to configure your computer to act as an NVR. It's a very simple process. As we said, it is going to take about um, Five, well, five minutes of video, but it is going to take about seven or eight minutes of our time uh, in order for you to set it up and have it running, okay? It is important for you to notice that uh, the computer must have the camera without any previous configuration. Let's go to downloads in the UI.com um, section of the, Unify, of the Ubiquity website and let's go to the Unify Protect section of this uh, download site. Right here, you're going to search for the operating system that you have. In this opportunity, we're going to set it up in Windows and we're going to download it and save it in your hard drive. Uh, if you want, you can execute it directly from this download uh, option and it is gonna be uh, ready in no time. a process that takes about one or two minutes uh, just uh, leave the check mark on and finish the process and it'll start the video server it'll, it'll start the, the Unify Protect software designed for the Microsoft Windows environment once you have it uh, set up and running you're gonna go and check that in the taskbar, right by the clock, you're going to see the, the little icon that says that the program is already running. Right there, you're gonna have a few options. Stop, start, open in browser. As you can see, the grayed out uh, option start is because it is already started, so you're not gonna be able to start it. Let's open it on browser, and it is gonna be opened by the default browser, and it says about the potential security risk. Remember that it, it has a security team certificate that is not available to be checked on the internet. So that's the reason why you get the security risk uh, message. Right here, once you bypass those warnings, you're going to set up very quickly your NVR. You put just uh, how the name is gonna be, you name it. You're gonna put a, your name, a username, and a password. It's a very simple process in which you just have to remember the password. This password is the, the camera password. Uh, you're going to see by the end of the video how to change this password, which is the one that you use to connect through the secure shell and uh, configure it directly through the web um, interface. So right here, you're going to click on the camera that you want to manage. You're going to click username UBNT, password UBNT, and then click on the button manage. This is very important because a lot of people say, what is the default password of the UBNT cameras, of the Ubiquiti cameras? UBNT. UBNT, UBNT, it is a process that takes about 15 seconds and the camera is gonna be up and running, ready to record. Sometimes it takes a lot of time just managing the camera. One very important thing, recording. Recording is not, um, is not enabled by default. So you're gonna have to come right here and configure how you want to record events in your NVR. It sounds very obvious, but it is the reason why you have cameras, because you have to record. And that's all guys, uh, we hope you liked this video. In the system configuration, you're going to find neat stuff that you can check, uh, where the location of the videos is configured, the updates, and one thing that I forgot to tell you right here, you close this window, you come right here, and this is where you change the camera password. Again, something very important because this one is the password that you use to connect to the camera through a secure shell connection or directly in the web interface. Okay, guys, in the, if you're in the process of buying one of these cameras, you can support us by buying these cameras clicking on the link below. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.